Experts are calling for greater recognition of dry forests amid the dire state of food security in Africa, a situation that worsens the more climate change progresses. Dry forests are highly susceptible to climate change, yet they are also the main food supply for around 30 countries in Africa. Dry forests in Africa cover an area of 31 million um, square kilometres, so they're an enormous uh, ecotype, if you like. You know, they cover a vast area in West, Central, East and Southern Africa. And that's where most of the people live in Africa. They play an en enormous role ecologically in terms of environmental services, but also provisioning for people who rely on them for their food security. The continent of Africa has a total population of one billion people, which is expected to double by 2050. The UN says 30% of sub-Saharan Africa are undernourished, making it a challenge to meet the Millennium Development Goals to halve the number of people living in hunger by 2015. Africa has very serious food security challenges and I think um, a lot of the food also in Africa comes from the forest. Africa agriculture is likely to be very highly affected by climate change and we need to look at more sustainable ways of managing agriculture in a way that enables us to meet both the food security demands that does not destroy forests. However, agriculture is also the leading cause of deforestation. Peter Manung suggests a climate smart agriculture technique for use in dry forests that both increases food security and reduces deforestation. The shifting cultivation that is the main driver, one of the main drivers of deforestation in Africa involves moving from one piece of land to another simply because the fertility of the previous piece of land dwindles and so you have to move on to the other one because they don't use fertilizers and they don't use you know a lot of inputs. Now if you can intensify agriculture and enable them to use inputs then they'll be able to stay on the same piece of land and they will produce more and so they do not have to clear other pieces of forest to get fresh and fertile soils on which to produce the food that they need. The Centre for International Forestry Research is conducting studies in several dry forest countries in West, East and Southern Africa. These projects are working to alleviate poverty by improving natural resource management and are aiming to put dry forests higher on the environmental policy agenda. The sort of whole paradigm about saving the forest has been focused on the tropical forest because of the biodiversity angle. Dry forests are slightly less biodiverse in some ways, but in some forests they're not, and in, they exhibit incredible biodiversity and complexity. One of the things we're trying to do is, is change that perception and get the dry forest back on the agenda. As climate change increases the length of the dry season, it becomes harder and harder to grow and harvest crops. Much of the carbohydrates that people rely on you know, have to be imported and so the food price uh, scenario that we're experiencing at the moment with the incredibly high food prices is affecting people's food security because they are, they're unable to basically purchase the basic essentials that they need. So they rely more, ironically, on the forest for their particular nutritional needs. One of the things we want to influence is a wider, sort of Africa-wide, dry forest strategy that looks at issues of adaptation, mitigation, food security. C4 and its partners are working together to develop a dry forest research agenda for Africa that can become a central element of future forest management initiatives. This is Andrea Booth reporting for C4.